I definitely think that Camp Gave is a place where I can be myself. I just love how everybody's so accepting and they're so nice. It just has this environment that you can never forget. You can do really fun stuff that you can't find in any other camp. Have amazing food. Oh my gosh, the dinners, the lunches, the breakfast. There's no other place in the world where you can be loud and crazy and do whatever you want and just have it be home. Camp runs for two, three and a half week long sessions during the summer. Boys are eight to 16 years old. We're located on Lake Damascata and Nobleboro, Maine in the mid coast area. But they also get to explore every little nook and cranny that's in this state. The mountains, the rivers, the lakes, and the ocean. Camp Kiev is a traditional boys camp. My grandfather started it. Uh, he was a school teacher in Philadelphia, and he wanted to invent a place where people could get away from the trappings of the city. Here's a place where you know that you're gonna get the exact same thing that you got in 1926, which is a place that's surrounded with beauty, surrounded with caring adults, and surrounded with people who really celebrate the opportunity to practice kindness and respect. This is a place where boys come to become confident, caring, loving young men. Boys can get away from the pressures of home. We're not a very competitive place at all. We purposely downplay competition. There's kind of an energy at camp that everyone just wants to be a part of and be as wild as they can and have as much fun as they can. The role models that the boys have in the staff members are some of the strongest that they'll have in their lives, maybe forever. They are meeting really cool college-age kids, the type of kids that you want your boys to be like one day. We helped raise them. Almost all of them were campers here. Oftentimes their dads and their grandfathers so were with us back in the day. I definitely look up to my counselors. Some of the counselors are my idols because they're, they're really funny, they're nice. They are always there to talk, and they're always there to play and have fun. Except for the first two or three days of camp and the last couple, at any given moment, about half the camp is out in the wilderness somewhere on a trip. Our trips range in length from one night for the little guys all the way up to 22 nights for the oldest kid. Our wilderness tripping program is, we feel, second to none. It gives kids the opportunity to stretch themselves, to experience and take healthy risks, to help kids understand that they have the resiliency, they have the grit, they have the determination within them. When you're in the wilderness, away from the screens, away from the lights of the city, your whole body just sort of slows down. You wake up when the sun comes up, uh, when the birds start to chirp outside, you go to sleep with a full belly by the campfire, and you have a tremendous sense of, of accomplishment. Coming back from trip is wild. We blast music in the van, and all the other little kids crowd around the van and want to talk to us about what we've done. It's so rewarding. When the kids come back from those trips, they feel like they can accomplish absolutely anything in this world. You can see the difference in a kid before and after their trip. There are very few rites of passage left in this world. Kiev is an exception to that. It's a transformative experience for a young men. They develop the kinds of instincts that they're going to need to be successful and, and to really become leaders. But now, since I came to Kiev, I feel like I'm definitely a stronger person. I'm definitely a kinder person. I think it'll always stay with me just because it changes me as it helps my character. It builds it makes me more of an interesting person. What we're able to provide here at Kiev is absolutely critical. To have a spot where you can really press the button and go back in time and realize what it's like to just unplug. The people I've met here, they'll be with me for a lifetime. If I could, I'd want to stay here forever.